A lamb for our steps has been given, a light has been set on a hill. God's word in its truth may be trusted by all who surrender their will. To A lamp for our steps has been given, a light has been set on a hill. God's word in its truth may be trusted by all who surrender their will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, everything green today. Green vestments, green altar cloth, green lampshades. Because we are in the ordinary season of the liturgical year now. Right through Lent we were wearing purple or violet. And then during Easter, 50 days, we were wearing generally white, the resurrected Christ. Now we've got back to what we call the ordinary season. So you will have martyrs, so red vestments, uh, certain saints where we wear white, but generally the color will be green. Matches with the season, I think, freshness, rains, green trees. We hope that we don't suffer the onslaught of the cyclone that is supposed to hit us tomorrow, the whole nation as well. Today's Mass is offered for the soul of Ella de Mello and T. L. Joseph. I also want to remember my very personal mentor, the late Monsignor George Fernandez, who died today, 50 years ago, 1970. He was parish priest when I was in Standard 7. My vocation I owe to him. Yes, the call is from Jesus, but nurtured by this great man. His cause has been put up for sainthood by the poor sisters of Our Lady. We hope that this beatification process proceeds well. I'm also offering this Mass for all our intentions. They are precious to God as much as they are to ourselves. Let us pause to prepare our hearts to celebrate these mysteries. And we sing together. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ, have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thoughts, words, and deed. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sin. And bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its decision and design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant that works what works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. You should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait and long for the day of God to come. When the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat. What we are waiting for is what he promised. 
the new heavens and new earth. The place where righteousness will be at home. So then, my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain, so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. You have been warned about this, my friends. Be careful not to get carried away by the errors of unprincipled people. From the firm ground that you are standing on. Instead, go on growing in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory in time and in eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Our response shall be, O Lord, you have been our refu refuge from one generation to the next. Please repeat. O oh Lord, you, you have, have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. Our response. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone. No more than a watch in the night. Our response, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Please stand for the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. The chief priests and the scribes and the elders sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to catch him out in what he said. These came and said to him, Master, we know you are an honest man, that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you, and that you teach the way of God in all honesty. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay yes or no? Seeing through their hypocrisy, he said to them, Why do you set this trap for me? Hand me a denarius and let me see it. They handed him one and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they told him. And Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. This reply took them completely by surprise. The word of the Lord. Praise, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
So here we have yet another trap set for Jesus. Herodians and Pharisees both actually opposed in their time to one another, but coming together against Jesus. And uh, Jesus speaks his heart out and says, Why are you doing this to trap me? Why do you set this trap for me? Show me a point. And foolishly, those guys actually remove a denarius and show to Jesus. The very fact that they had that coin in their pocket showed that they already paid taxes, they, that they already uh, using the profaned name of Caesar in their daily lingo and in their daily commerce. And they get caught in their own trap. But Jesus does not point that to them. He lets them go and only says, if this head is of Caesar and you have this pocket coin in your pocket, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, but also as devout Jews, give to God what is God's. And the last sentence of today's gospel says, This reply took them completely by surprise. You know, sometimes you get a student in class or in college who tries a trick question with the teacher or the professor. And if the professor is smart enough, knowing from where this question is coming, that professor will do both, answer the question as well as correct the attitude so that henceforth you will not trip Jesus, the professor or the teacher. It happens with parish priests also. But I want to concentrate more today on the first line of St. Peter's text in the first reading. You should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait and long for the day of God to come. My dear sisters and brothers, this is a whole, uh, what do you call that? It's a whole life journey. It is a role or a rule for the whole of our life. We don't live a holy and saintly life now. And then said, I have finished, now I have packed my cartly motley and I wait, when will I get my reward? That reward will be 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years when we die. But this is a life in the process, a life in the making, that we should live holy and saintly lives until the day of reckoning and wait for God or whatever happens. And we know that it is very difficult to live this life every day. Today we said we will start reading from yesterday two chapters of Galatians. Oh God, Father, don't remind me, I forgot. So today you have to read hmm, one, two, three, four chapters. So we know we want to, but we are lazy. We want to, but something like this planning and scheming of people around us upsets us and we get upset with God and people. And that whole process of blueprint, that is the word I wanted, the whole blueprint of our life of living holy and saintly lives doesn't just seem to get off the ground. But Jesus would say, be persistent. Be persistent with what you have in your mind and you will attain that goal. The same applies to the example I gave of a student, school or college. You say you want to get 80, 85, 90% or to top the grade so that you get into a good college. And you begin and within a day or two somebody sends you a new version of PUBG or some other game and you get hooked onto it and you forgot your lessons. You forget to do your summaries and your uh, mental notes and you forgot. And then it piles up and piles up and then you say too much and then you give up. But no, the human condition that we are blessed with, I'm saying blessed with, is such a condition that we can restart and restart and go and go. And this is where Jesus upholds us. At every step, step when we trip and fall, he tells us rise. At every step when we feel discouraged and lost and anxious, he says, Perk up, I am with you. Come to me if you feel tired and I will help you. Don't let situations around us put us down. I am feeling tired after two, and a half, two months and more of lockdown. I just want to go somewhere, eat mangoes, eat jackfruit. Just for a change. I know you'll say you get it in market. Give me 
Tell me which market you are getting mangoes and jackfruit here. Everything is locked down. But that doesn't mean that because of this I live life on a low level. No. Our life is much more than food and drink. It is Jesus. And therefore what we do in our life in terms of give to Caesar what is Caesar's, our lessons, our friends, our plans, our purposes. Jesus also says give to God what is God. Therefore prayer, family rosary, quiet time, scripture reading, a little study, a little introspection. And all this enables us to lead and lead a balanced life. We pray for this grace today, you and I, one for another, and God for all of us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, Lord, and cleanse me from all my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of the Holy Church. Trusting in your compassion, Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar. Bless our plans and purposes and help us to balance our secular and our religious spiritual commitments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, as in joyful spirits we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven, and earth are full Blessed, blessed.
Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit on them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the spread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember those for whom this Mass is offered. Remember those who are in hospitals and nursing homes and those who may have died today because of various reasons. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our patron saints and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Struggling with our earthly commitments, we ask God to help us balance our spiritual ones as well. As we say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us safe for life eternal. Amen. Amen. Just to fix our eyes on Jesus Who has fought the good fight to the end And to be the grain that's fallen To the ground to die and rise again This is my sacrifice and open your eye bring here lord i come to do your will here lord i come to do your will just to follow in his footsteps and to live According to his ways Oh, to be the soul to savor And the light in darkness all my days This is my sacrifice And open your eyes Let us pray. Govern by your spirit, we pray, Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Some of you have been asking who's singing at Mass and reading. Professor Melody from our parish teaches at St. Andrews College. No, she's not a priest as yet. <laughs> the Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have no doubt about whom we belong to. And even as we struggle with our secular affairs, we still commit ourselves to Jesus.
as we sing. I have decided to follow. 